Well, welcome to my channel, Mike Rondo here. Welcome back if you've been subscribing. Uh, hopefully it's not too loud around here. We got all sorts of shenanigans happening in my hometown here. A uh, bunch of rescue and first responders were over there with their sirens somewhere down the road. You could hear them in the background. Got some guy driving like an animal up and down the street. But anyway, hopefully that doesn't take away from tonight's video. But uh, in any case, I was going to do something on the social media. Uh, that documentary you saw, the uh, social dilemma or what a social media dilemma or whatever the heck it's called. I can't think of it right now. But I was going to tie that into the whole debate tonight. But I decided I'll save it probably for tomorrow if I do it at all. But uh, tonight I thought, and I almost forgot, I was coming down coming out to the shed and I was walking out and uh I passed by something I'm like wait a minute I I forgot to do a I totally forgot to do a review on on this the cobblestone cafe this is the last one this is cafe mocha flake uh and I've never done I I haven't done a review on this I bought it like a week and a half ago or something and I forgot to do I completely forgot about it so Tonight, it's a tin note, and we'll be doing it in my other Savinelli 320 uh, author pipe. Brand spanking new. Uh, as you can see, never been smoked. Um, so I thought I'd... I, I couldn't decide. I don't, and last night I used my favorite pipe last night, the Bruno, as I call it. This one, I don't know what I'm going to call this one. But uh as I was coming out here for the review, I was thinking, all right, what pipe am I going to use? Have you? I, this is going to happen to my fellow pipe smokers. You're coming out and you're like, what pipe do I use? You know, I couldn't use last night's pipe. Give it a break. Um, I didn't want to go with the cobs, and I used that one the other night. So I was like, well, do I want to go with the that one? I'm like, nah. So I'm like, you know what? Perfect time for this. Why not? Give it a shot. shot. Go with it. Break it and give it the first light. So... But anyway, let's get into this tin note. So this is a uh, Cafe Mocha Flake. So it's a, obviously a flake. Let's uh, see if I can crack this one. I don't know, did I get it one shot? Nope, didn't do that. <laughs> there we go. There we go. All right, woo. Smells kind of like a Play-Doh kind of smell. That's without me opening up. That's interesting. It's like a Play-Doh minty kind of kind of smell to it. All right. So here we go. Show it to you guys as you can see there's a flake it got strips oh this is very this is very uh very damp but let's get the smell here this is very what is the it's like the girl scout cookie the chocolate mint kind of smell to it which isn't a bad thing. Like, it's not overpowering like that. It's just like a hint of that. Yeah, like a hint of the Girl Scout cookie, the mints. Um, chocolate mints. Which is a good thing. Don't get me wrong. Kind of a little Play-Doh-y kind of smell to it. Hmm. That's interesting. All right, now I gotta figure out how to, cause I didn't bring anything to cut up some of this flake. So this this will be this will be a this will be a hack job. I can tell you that. I wasn't even thinking of this because I don't smoke a lot of flake, and usually when I do, I kind of I have it. Uh, but uh, <laughs> well, maybe I can break some of this up with my hand. It seems okay. I can break it up with my hand here. It's not. It's not too bad. Uh, 
Yeah, it's not that bad. It's a little on the wet side, though. But it's workable, I think. I think it's workable. I don't think it'll be too, too bad. All right, let's get some of this in here. Okay. Not bad. I really, I don't know why I don't have like a cutting board and a, a thing to cut up some flake, but I don't have a lot of, I mean, I have some flake, but I haven't smoked it in so long. Um, which is odd, to be honest. I'm not sure why I haven't, but this is breaking up pretty, pretty easy. I thought I was going to need like a knife to chop it up, but it's not too bad. Not too bad at all. We'll make do, right? It is, it smells really, it's like, because this is the last one in the cafe series. I hope they make more. I don't know what they could make, but this is like, uh, it's, it's kind of, hmm. almost like a bit of like a liqueur kind of smell like not cherries but kind of like that like that kind of that smell I don't know I mean it's good don't get me wrong is it as good as the other ones I've had out of the tin note no will it smoke better we're gonna find out I, it might be a surprise for a smoke I think it's gonna be pretty good we'll see button that up so again, this is what I'm smoking. Put that away. I may break out my uh, butane lighter to really upset all of you. We'll see. I don't think that's a good chart light, but in any case, let that do its thing for a minute. Uh, worst case scenario, I'll break out the butane and upset everybody and say, you can't taste it because you did that. I get it. I get it. But, you know, I want to smoke the damn thing. I don't want to sit there and look at it all day. But anyway, uh, so far, the tin note's pretty good. I like it. And I can tell just by doing that little bit of a... The char light when I was bringing some of that uh, smoke in. It's got a slight mint to it, which is weird. Um, in a good way. It's not a bad thing. I'm just, it just seems uh, a little different. Got a lot of crickets chirping tonight. I prefer them over the... And then... See, it's like this. I don't know if I... I don't get mocha at all. I, I don't... I get like a... Like a... The Girl Scout cookie meets... A bit of maybe cherry liqueur. Like, you know, like one of those candies you get with like the cherry liqu liquid in it or something like that. I don't know. But... There we go. Got a good light there. Yeah, it's like a little kind of this aftertaste. And even smelling it in the air, it gives this sweet smell that reminds me of like not quite cherries, but hmm, it's interesting. But I think it's a little too wet, to be honest. 
I probably should have took it out, broke some up, but I was doing a tin note. I want, you know me, I like to do it. Uh, if you watch my videos with my reviews, kind of, it's like a blind test. I kind of just go in. I don't even read what, what, what this is or that is. I just kind of go with it and This is, it's nice, but it's not, <laughs> this is throwing me off. The name of it, the mocha, it doesn't. I'll get a little through the nose. Not much, but it's in the smoke. The smoke note, as I like to call it, is very wispy. It's not, um. Cause this is the first time it's kind of, it's a little too wet. So next time it'll be a little drier. So we'll see how that goes. But yeah, it's, it's surprisingly good in its own weird way. Like I like out of all of them, which one did I like the best? I like the the vanilla and the hot chocolate uh the black coffee was okay but i have to say this don't expect like mocha it's well let's see what it says here anything i cost wait a minute wait a minute this might come in handy finally i might be able to see something here we go uh burly i can kind of get that i think that's where I'm getting the uh, Turkish tobaccos too, Dutch flavoring. So that's so that's probably why that's. I I, I would imagine the burley is giving me that that little bit of aftertaste. Maybe I don't, I don't know. Could be the tur Turkish tobaccos. Man, this thing kind finally of came in handy. <laughs> Man, if you're forty something like me, forty, I'll be forty four this month coming up. I highly recommend one of these <laughs> for reading your tin notes. Um, hopefully that doesn't fall. But it's an interesting... I think there's a cricket up here somewhere. In any case, it's got an interesting... Interesting note and smell all around. But not in a bad way, in a very good way. Maybe it's the combination of the Turkish and the Virginias that are in there. I can't really pick out the burly other than maybe like that little bit of an aftertaste um, that I'm getting, but that's kind of minty and I don't think that really matches up. I could be wrong. Gotta be honest, I'm a little sad that my Cobblestone Cafe series is coming to a close here. I'm gonna have to, uh, hopefully they come out with more. I don't know what other flavors, I mean, I know they have other I think they got a key lime pie, but I don't like key lime pie. They got other flavors, but they don't have any more cafe uh, type of flavors. I don't know. Should I dive into the other flavors of cobblestone? I don't think it's a popular, as far as review goes. It's not that it's a review. It's just kind of my take on it, to be honest, if I enjoy it. Um, maybe I'll do, there's not many cobblestone tobacco reviews, I don't think, so... Maybe, maybe I'll do it. I don't know. Is it a thing? Do you guys want me to do it? I don't know. Let me know. And I'm, <laughs> I'm in this way. So this will be episode, oh, not episode, but video 96, I think, or 97. We're in the home stretch of a hundred videos. 
and I'm up to 94 subscribers right now. I would love to see if it hit 100 videos and 100 subscribers in, in the same day. That would be pretty cool. I don't know if that'll happen, but to be honest, I'm, I'm amazed I'm at 94 right now. I'm completely shocked. I still thought I'd be at like two, three, maybe five. Hmm. And of course, the author pipe, it's smoking beautifully. I mean, you can't go wrong with this thing. I don't know if Tim, I mean, Eddie, I always call him Tim. I don't know why. He looks like my friend Tim. But Eddie Gray, I'm sure, I'm not sure if he's got any more of these. Um, if he does, I suggest going over there and snatching up one or two if you can. Because they're, it's an amazing pipe. I'm going to have to make a mark on this one just so I know which is which. I mean, I, I'll know. I mean, that's, I'll just know. I mean, that's darker than this, obviously. Yep, this is definitely worth a try if you're into this sort of thing. If you've never had cobblestone, I suggest going into the cafe series. I think it's a good uh, good way to get into it. I mean, it's uh, it seems very friendly. We all like coffee and and mocha and you know all that and hot chocolate. I, I think it's a good way to get into it. Now, I wouldn't. I haven't tried the others, so I can't say for sure. But this is a pretty good way to get into it. Cobblestone tobacco, at least. And you know, this, out of all my tobaccos, maybe it's the filter in here, I, I don't really know, but I've had others with the filter. As you guys know, I do the 9mm filters for the most part. Uh, this gives like a, a kind of a minty, or more menthol kind of aftertaste in a good way, not a bad Not in a bad way, in a very, very good way. Uh, by the way, I'm still itching to try the Sleepy Hollow. It's not October yet. I'm still waiting on my customized pipe. Hopefully it gets here soon. Hopefully next week that pipe gets here, I hope. I might have to check in and see how what the progress is. Yeah, even the, the like the the smoke note is a sweet kind of minty flavor. I don't know. It's it's really good. It's unique, at least from my perspective, with my taste buds and my snage here. Um, it's an interesting smoke. I don't know. It's not the greatest. It's not the best out of out of the cafe series. I think I think hot chocolate is my favorite out of that. And the espresso, I think, is the other one. So it's just different, unique as the smoke goes. Anyway, that's how I'm going to leave it tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed this uh, mini review, tin note, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't, I don't want to call it a review. It's more of a, like, it's more of like my experience. Really, it's not really really a review i liked it so i suggest you get it if you you know feel the need to try it anyway i'm out of here take care care everybody and i will see you tomorrow